rain meditation. As we can be stuck in our heads, finding fault with ourselves and those around us, can we just accept ourselves just as we are? If we can stop the inner narrative, the chatter, we can give ourselves permission to blossom. The RAIN meditation is an acronym. R stands for recognizing what is happening. Acknowledging consciously the thoughts and feelings and behaviours that are affecting us. A stands for allowing. Allowing means to pause with the intention to relax our resistance. We tend to want to suppress and control, but in doing so we use up a lot of energy and we also leaden and deaden our overall emotional range. I stands for investigate. This is about being curious. Curiosity is a wonderful capacity we have. And when we marry it with kindness, we are indeed exploring as one would a new place or a new setting with openness and a warm heart. Questioning yourself, perhaps saying, why do I believe this? How does it feel? What does this feeling need? And finally, N is to work on non-identification, not getting caught up in the experience, but also nourishing ourselves and resting in loving awareness. When you're working with RAIN meditation, try to choose an experience to work with or an emotion that isn't traumatic or that'll bring up along a state of overwhelm or panic. So that would be something that's perhaps relatively minor. It's kind of building up your strength to deal with more tough issues later on. Begin by sitting down closing your eyes and taking a good seat. Dropping into the chair or what's holding you and again becoming aware that you are sitting. Observing the points of contact, feeling held. Bringing your attention to your breathing. Breathing in and breathing out. Do this in a gentle, appreciative way, deepening your breath and allowing yourself to drop into your own presence with each breath. If you wish, you can close your eyes or allow your sense of sight to rest. Then just scan and try to pay attention to what you're feeling in a focused way. Just recognize what you're feeling. Then visualize the circumstances surrounding this right now. Does this involve another person? Are we judging ourselves for having that feeling? It's hard enough that somebody hurts us or that we are in some way wounded, but it's our judgment is like a second arrow harming ourselves again in our relationship with ourselves. Notice whatever is predominant and come up with a word that describes this emotion or feeling. Maybe this is worry. Maybe this is apprehension. Maybe this is frustration. What sensations are you feeling? Maybe there's some tension or tightness or butterflies. Next, just allow. 
Just notice what's happening without judgment. Perhaps acknowledging that this belongs here right now. Or I'm just riding this like a wave. This will give you some time to investigate. Observing where the sensations in your body are speaking to you, where the emotion is lodged. Maybe it's in your throat, in your chest, or your belly. You might say, what are my beliefs around this? Am I worried that something bad's going to happen? And how do you feel that in the body? Maybe it's on your shoulders, pain in your neck, or in your jaw. Sometimes it helps to place your hand in the place that you're experiencing that emotion. This is where the body is doing its best to express what's happening in the head. The brain is using the body as a means of working things out, working things through. Allow the feelings to be felt, naming them. Again, with curiosity and compassion, ask yourself, how does it feel to be in this body right now? And if at any time you feel it's too much, just come back to the breath and toggle in and out like a little dance, do si do, back into the breath, back into the feeling. And then, how can I be with you? How can I be with myself? Then, we move on to natural awareness, nourishing, non-identification. If you can imagine somebody who loves you or a wise person, whatever works for you, listen from, from that space that embodies that person. What do you need? Acceptance, forgiveness, connection. Allowing that presence to bathe you, bathe that part of you which needs it in love or tenderness. Feel it happening, ease into it and observing the quality of presence you have. Maybe it's love and light and warmth. Observe the state of mind now after you've done this practice. Perhaps there's a change between how uptight or agitated you were at the beginning and how you are now. Hopefully you have more spaciousness and openness. Allowing yourself to take a few more restorative breaths. Then you can begin to move and opening your eyes. Getting along with your day. Thanking yourself for having faced into something that was challenging. Not try to suppress it or distract yourself. Instead, you've allowed it to flow through you. 
and your body and yourself thanks you.